Hey yo internetters, welcome back to another pin spinning video and so for today we'll be doing a tutorial on the thumb around reverse and so we'll be doing this because of Heriberto, I'm sorry if I butcher your name, I shouldn't have because like I, you know I took like Spanish 1 and 2 in high school so yeah I'm, I'm a failure and for anyone who needs help in doing the thumb around reverse this video might help you and so this is like a disclaimer just like a heads up I'm not like an actual pin spinner I w I'm considering myself more of a casual pin spinner and basically what I mean by that is I suck at pin spinning and basically that also means that I suck at tutorials too because I don't know the actual technicalities behind everything for pin spinning so yeah. The only thing that I can really like do a tutorial on is basically how I learned the thumb around reverse and what I got from my experience. So hopefully this will help you out. So to do the thumb around reverse, you want to start off by holding the pin in a writing position. And if you once you're there, you want to have the pin resting on your middle finger for support. And then from there, you'll take your thumb and you'll place it directly above your middle finger. And once you're able to do this, you will have full control and stability of the pin. And what I mean by that is when you're moving the pin around, the pin will not move and it will not fall. And so the reason why this happens is because you're having support from your middle finger and you're posing it down with your thumb. And you'll also have support right here with the pin. And once you have all of that, the last thing you'll need to do is actually just make a hook shape motion with your index finger right and you just place it right here on the pin and from there you have like this slight gap between your middle finger your thumb from your index finger right and all you have to do from there is just tap it with your index finger and the pin will do a reverse thumb around and so yeah that's basically the gist of the thumb around reverse from here i'll just be breaking down the sections i guess you could call it or the steps on what you can do to help with your thumb around reverse like for example you have the push of the pin the the way the pin spins around your thumb or in the catch and of course we'll be going into details on each of these stuff to see if it will help you or make learning the thumb around reverse a little bit easier and so the first thing we'll get into is how to push the pin with your index finger and a heads up for me this was the hardest part for the thumb around reverse. So to start off, I want to show you how the pin will look like when you're pushing it with your index finger and the, how your index finger will be moving and how it will look like at the end. And the best way for me to do that is actually to hold it like I'm actually getting ready to spin the pin, but then I'll remove the pin and I'll keep the shape of my index finger like this. So that way you have a full view of my index finger. And what's happening is, is I'm just tapping my index finger in like this and eventually my finger will end up in this position right here and it will tuck in like you're making the letter O and this is the end point of your hand that will look like when you're pushing it so keep in mind that I'm actually sliding it into my thumb but my index finger will be slightly under my thumb right but that's not all there is to just the push there's a little bit more to it so if we try to do what I explain on the last portion only then if I'm pushing the pin with my index finger the pin will come to a complete stop and that's because the pin is actually getting stuck between my thumb and my index finger right if I'm just pushing focusing pushing on the side of the pin with the index finger and so the way to fix that is when you're actually pushing the pin in with your index finger it will actually slide under the pin and then from there it will pop up and then it will start spinning around your thumb and so when you're pushing the pin it's pushing the side of the pin and because the momentum of your finger is pushing in and then this pin comes to a stop it will begin to slide under the pin like you'll still be sliding down like this and then it will go under and it will pop up and it will spin around your thumb and that's what's happening with the index finger and so if you do it in a fast motion it goes like that and so another quick thing that i want to mention since we're on the topic of how to push your index finger is actually the force or the amount of power that you put into your push and so we could talk about the force of the pin and basically the amount of force or power you use to push the pin and it's sort of important when you're learning your thumb around reverse and so if you're pushing the pin with your index finger and then the pin starts to spin but fall off a little bit too early that means you're not pushing enough power and then if you also adjust that and then you're 
pushing the pin with your index finger and it starts to spin and fly all off of your thumb that means that you're pushing a little bit too hard and so the only way you can actually get better at knowing what amount of push or force that you need to do to push the pin it takes practice and with practice that's kind of mean you're gonna be taking a while to build up the muscle memory for it so that's that's a little bit unfortunate for that and so once you get comfortable with knowing the amount of force to use with pushing the pin or how to push the pin with your index finger we can actually move on to the next step and that's like how the pin should be spinning around your thumb when spinning the pin around your thumb it seems that the best spot for the pin to be in is this right here where the center of gravity of the pin is right on top of your thumb as it's spinning right and basically you can this center of gravity of the pin is indicated by this right here this line so if i'm doing the thumb around reverse the center of gravity is going on top of my thumb and then coming this way and then i'll catch it like that and of course you have a wiggle room where you could be slightly over a little bit and then you have a slightly under the uh, center of gravity you have a little bit of wiggle room but the best spot is have the center of gravity of your pin going on top of your thumb and so if you're not using the pen I'm using and you're working with a different pen, the way to find the center of gravity of your pen that you're using is basically taking your pen and placing it on your finger. And when you're able to balance your pen, that's the center of gravity of your pen. And so if I go over slightly, the pen falls off. If I go over slightly, the pen falls off, right? But on this line right here, this is the center of gravity. So if I place it on top of my finger, the pin should be completely balanced. And so we're moving on to the last thing, which is a good thing. And the last thing is, I'm sure you guessed it, is the catch. And so catching the thumb around reverse, it's quite versatile on any ways you can catch it. I find that you could catch it in finger slot one and two, which is between these two finger slot here. And this is two and three, and this is three and four. I feel like you can catch it in each and every one of these finger slot. But for me, I'm only able to do it in one, two, and two and three. So for one and two, I catch it like that and then after that for two and three I'll catch it like that and for three and four I can't really do so yeah and, and, and that's just because like this these two fingers are really weak of mine so I haven't really practiced on that but yeah and also you could actually catch it when you make a shape like this with your fingers where the pin will spin around and just land into this spot right here like oh yeah and you could do it the same with this but I don't know if you could do it with these two fingers I could do it with this so basically, for example, it will look like that, right? And so catching the pin is quite versatile. And so I, I'm pretty sure you want to know how you catch the pin. And so usually when I first start off learning the thumb around reverse, I leave a big gap between finger slot two and three. That was my preference of the slot I wanted to catch. So when the pin is spinning around, it would just fall in here and I'll just close my finger and I'll catch it. And over time, as I got used to catching the pin this way, I began to slowly like try to do different slot and then try to become more pre more precision like uh, with my catch which making this shape is require a lot of consistency of the roll of the pin it has to continue to roll this way every single time for you to land it right here which takes a lot of practice and so let's say for example you're just trying to catch it in slot two and three and so when I'm doing the push I, I basically will have like this big gap where the pin could fall in and um, that's pretty much all I did for the catch, like just have a big gap. This is pretty much how I catch the pin in the beginning, like just make a big gap uh, after you're spinning the pin. And that's pretty much all there is to doing the catch. And so hopefully this video helped you in learning the thumb around reverse or at least make it a little bit easier for you when you're trying to learn the thumb around reverse. And as I was making this tutorial, I kind of felt bad because I was like, usually I wanted to learn the process of a new trick so that maybe it will help you learn as well. It's, it's almost like we're learning the same trick together almost. But unfortunately, I already know how to do the thumb around reverse with my left hand. And I was like, you know, how can I like show this? And then I realized, I realized. I don't know how to do the thumb around reverse on my right hand. And so here's a quick clip of what you might experience when you're trying to learn the thumb around reverse. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today. And so if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.